If there's one thing that I believe in, it's the power of small things. Something as small as pouring yourself a glass of wine after a long day, or sitting back and looking at something that you created and thinking, wow, I did that. It could be as small as the feeling of giving a compliment or receiving a compliment or trying a new skincare product that you know, you've been looking to try and that just makes you feel beautiful. And it's these small little things, these little feelings here and there that I think get us through the hard things. And so today I'm going to show you guys two things or two different routines rather that I think save me as a human being, which is my hair care and my skincare routine. These products, as small as they may seem, are small things that get me through my day to day. So today I'll show you guys my hair care and my skincare routine as of late, December 2018. So let's get started. Wait, where's my lip balm? This is important. Aha! There you are. I found my lip balm. That was a crisis. You guys know I'm a huge believer in the concept that, you know, you are enough as you are. Like, come as you are and you are enough. Like, I'm very, very fond of that idea and that concept, but there's nothing wrong with wanting to improve yourself in small ways that make you feel good. I'm a believer in the extra little bits and bobs that you can do to make yourself feel more confident as a human being. And I have been through the ringer in terms of having bad skin, you know, bad hair, hair that breaks, like that won't grow. And now I think I've finally reached the pinnacle of my existence, you know, at the point in my life where I'm very confident in my skincare and hair care routine. So I have a lot of things, little tips here and there that I can share with you guys. Um, things that I do to make myself feel good, as well as a butt polish. Keep watching to find out what that's all about. Okay, <laughs> so I'm gonna start out by chatting with you guys about my current hair care regimen. Whoa, look how bright these colors are on the screen. I love it. So I recently changed up my hair care routine, and by the way, this video is sponsored by Function of Beauty. They What is going on? I'm like easily distracted apparently. So let me give you a little uh, short but sweet elevator pitch style explanation about what Function of Beauty is. So as you guys can probably gather, they are a hair care brand. They make shampoos and conditioners for people who, like myself, have struggled forever for like centuries to find the right shampoo and conditioner for our hair type. I have a really oily scalp and then very dry ends. My hair is very prone to breakage, but I finally found a brand that customizes their shampoo and conditioner to your specific needs. So I took this really simple two minute long, like it took two minutes, quiz and just answered questions about my hair type and they matched me with a shampoo and conditioner blend. Like they literally blended this up for me and send it to me um, and I got to pick the scent, I got to pick the color. The coolest part about the bottles is it says my name on it. So it says Function of Katie. I know firsthand how frustrating it can be to have the wrong shampoo conditioner, so this is really great. I will link down below where you guys can take the quiz and figure out your special blend and have it shipped to you. Whenever I wash my hair, I use this shampoo and conditioner. It's really, really great. The scent that I have currently smells like a, I had this one neighbor growing up that always had like snickerdoodles in the oven in her kitchen, like literally would just always bake all these delectable treats and I think very confidently this smells like her house. So yeah, Mrs. Dietrich, this is a close rival to your kitchen. You guys can customize the color of your bottle. So I picked the holiday edition, of course, which is this one. It's the red and the green color. And the scent that I picked is Naughty or Spice. Also, you can pick the fragrance strength. So if you want your conditioner and your shampoo to be very, very strong in scent, you can pick strong, which I did because like I love my hair smelling like my shampoo conditioner like during the day. So at nighttime, I wash my hair with that shampoo and conditioner. I whip out my Eco Tools brush, which looks like this. I have a little bit of hair in it, sorry. But uh, you get the picture. It's like a round brush that has a hole in the middle, which is designed for air drying. So it dries your hair uh, about 40% faster than a normal brush. So I really highly recommend this for people that have thick hair. Um, and then I air dry, towel dry, but then air dry my hair overnight. Like look how shiny my hair is, guys. This is a product of Function of Beauty. Anyway, so that is it for the hair care portion. I'm gonna move on to my skincare. I am horribly dry in the skin category. My skin is like painfully dry. So I have a very aggressive skincare regimen for targeting my dry skin. So the first thing I wanna show is my Pineapple Papaya Facial Scrub from Kiehl's. So this is the only scrub that I use and trust because it's not extremely aggressive to the point where it like burns and hurts my skin. It's very natural. It's made with real fruit extracts and I really love it. Um, so I use this about once or twice a week. No more than that because I don't wanna like rub my face raw or anything of that nature. Overall, it just smells great. It smells like pineapples, like a very natural pineapple, not like overly fruity. 
So I love this. I use that about like twice a week, I'd say. And then I follow that with my serum. So I use the Kiehl's Hydro Plumping Retexturizing Serum Concentrate. And I'll read what it says in the front. It says, clinically tested to plump skin, smoothing the appearance of fine lines and texture while significantly reducing the look of dull, tired looking skin that can be caused by age related dehydration. Um, so basically what I did was I walked into the store and I was like, excuse me sir, I need you to help me because my skin is like in pain and so dry and my cry for help was about two months ago. I walked into the store and I was like, I need a product that will help me. So the guy that worked there was like, I swear by this product, so naturally I bought it and I've seen a difference in the feeling of my skin overall. I towel dry my face off after the shower and then I put this on and just pump it onto the back of my hand and then just apply it to my face like so, not too much. So that is great. Next up, I use the Ultra Facial Overnight Hydrating Mask from Kiehl's. It looks like this, and it's actually, I didn't really think it was gonna be like this when I took it out the first time. I thought it was gonna be a cream, but it's actually this like clear jelly. I don't use this every single night, um, but I'll use it probably the same kind of twice a week as I use my exfoliator, and I just let it sit on there all night, and it really does wonders for infusing my skin with moisture, much needed moisture. It says it replenishes skin's water reserves for long-lasting hydration and healthy looking skin for all skin types. It doesn't have like a specific smell. I don't think it's unscented technically, but it really doesn't have like an irritating or weird smell, um, very natural smelling. So I love this product as well. As I mentioned, I use this probably close to twice a week. So next up is actually my holy grail of skincare products that I've ever used in my entire life, <laughs> which is saying a lot. And this is the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. Look at it, it's green. Well, it looks kind of yellow on camera, but it's like a lime green color. It's so, so bad. I get extremely, extremely dry, flaky skin right under my eyes, especially like right in the corners here and on my eyelids as well. And so I use this every single night and it really does wonders in terms of hydrating that area because obviously the skin right under your eyes are super sensitive and like the thinnest part of skin on your face. So I use this every single night, like clockwork, I just put it on. And I'm obsessed with this stuff. As you guys can see, I've made quite a dent in there. The best part about all of these products is none of them clog my pores, um, which as I mentioned, I don't have like oily or oil prone skin, but obviously, you can still get acne when you have dry skin if your pores are clogged, especially by the products you're using. So my skin is pretty clear. It's clearer than it's ever been in my entire life. I'm just now remembering that I actually forgot to mention something. This product from Kiehl's, it's the Midnight Recovery Botanical Cleansing Oil. For some reason, I can never get the eyeliner slash like mascara off of my eyes with a makeup wipe. So I always use this because it's super, super gentle on the face. So basically it starts out as an oil and it turns into a cleansing milk of sorts uh, once you add water. So I use this every single day um, and then I obviously only use an exfoliator every couple of days or like twice a week and then also okay so I do want to like talk about some like little products here and there that aren't specifically skin but kind of so my lip balm which you guys know I'm obsessed with it's the lip medex from blistex makes my lips look awesome I keep one at my desk at work and one at my desk here at home so this is kind of like a fun product that I want to show you guys um, so it's from Anise NSA I don't know how to say it um, but I initially saw this on an Instagram ad and I was like, I gotta try that. So this, guys, is the That Booty Though Walnut Shell Booty Scrub. So I keep this in my shower, so it's a little bit gross, but it looks like this. And basically it is indeed a scrub. I have, you know, cellulite like the next person does. So I love using exfoliating products to reduce the appearance of cellulite and just overall firm up the look of my skin. So the product that kind of goes with uh, the scrub is this one. It's a booty oil from the same brand and it's called Have You Seen My Underwear? It's a caffeinated booty oil for soft, perky, and moisturized booty. This could be like a funny gift, like for a white elephant or something, so. As I mentioned, we are all perfect as we are, but you know, there's nothing wrong with wanting to spice up your routine a little bit in order to have, you know, clearer, you know, suppler skin and shinier hair. So um, as a little reminder though, if you guys want to take that hair quiz and find out your perfect blend of function of beauty, I'll have a link to the hair quiz down below where you guys can check it out. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Hope you all enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys all in my next one. Bye.